Hi, Dr. Riley and fellow classmates. My name is Judy Lesser, and welcome to my presentation on a few ways that gun control can help to prevent future mass shootings. Although there are, unfortunately, many crimes committed in our present day, there are perhaps no sadder tragedies than the senseless mass shootings that seem to just keep on happening. It almost feels like you can't even turn on the news without hearing about more innocent lives that are lost when a madman opens fire in a school, in a movie theater, or even in a place of holy worship. Although gun control is definitely a hot button issue, scientific research does provide us with a few clear answers on preventing future mass shootings. Before we dive further into that, let's take a look at a chart that tells us a little bit about the statistics by school year. So this is showing us the gunfire at preschools and K through 12 grades by the school year. And you can clearly see that way back in 2013 through 2017, although they were still too many incidents, they were less than 50. Then they started rising dramatically. And then they culminated very sadly. Look at how, how it tripled. 2021 to 2022, we are at almost 200 of these ridiculous ridiculously senseless incidents every single year. An eye-opening article that I read in order to prepare for this paper on amnesty.org states that across the globe, a staggering 2,000 people are injured by gunfire every single day. The article goes on to point out that the right to bear arms and own weapons should never supersede our rights to live a very safe life free of the threat of violence. I completely agree with this. Margaret Huang, the executive director of Amnesty International, said, and I quote, the U.S. government is prioritizing gun ownership over basic human rights. Despite the huge number of guns in circulation and the sheer number of people that are killed by guns every year, there's a shocking lack of federal regulations that could save thousands of lives, end quote. Now, U.S. laws currently allow an individual to legally carry a concealed weapon in every state of our country. Without stricter laws that limit who can own guns, there will no, be no decrease in the number of lives that are lost in these shootings. The article goes on to suggest that the U.N., the United Nations, create international guidelines that all of our states can follow when they enact new laws that can control ownership of guns. I also looked up a very interesting chart, and it talks about some very interesting gun safety facts, common sense, that I think we all can learn from. If you simply enact sensible gun laws, you can easily reduce the easy access to dangerous weapons. Those that shouldn't have them shouldn't be able to get them. Establish a culture of gun safety. Make sure everyone knows how to use it. Make sure they're properly trained with their firearms, that they um, know how to use it, how to hold it, how to load it, how to clean it. Also, we should hold the gun industry accountable. Make sure that they have adequate oversight, that they really watch the marketing and the sales of guns. Another important thing is to make sure that our gun dealers and owners are engaged and asked and that they participate with gun solutions. These are very simple things we can do that can really help. Another article from Prevention Institute talks about a list of other ways that we enhance gun safety. Besides the list that I made, we have to make sure that gun ownership comes with mandatory training. So when they go to buy the weapon, the training we talked about, about loading it, how to hold it, is it is it extremely important that they have to go through this and that it's made mandatory in future gun laws. I can tell you, speaking from personal experience, my son is a brand new Marine. I don't like holding, owning, shooting a firearm. It's very frightening for me, even though he's been skillfully trained in it by the U.S. Marine Corps. He took me when he's home now on leave before deployment to a gun range and I did hold a rifle. I, he did teach me the proper way to hold it. And I can tell you that although I was still afraid and I didn't want to shoot the gun, I didn't like the sound going off around me in the gun range, I was able through his proper guidance to know how to hold it and feel a little bit safer in shooting it. If each person who had a gun had to take a minute to think about it and didn't view this weapon as simply a method of destruction, maybe they would think twice before taking out an innocent life with that weapon. Every town research revealed more techniques for stricter future gun control. They also shared the sobering statistic that the 2021 incidents, as I showed you in the chart, of shootings in U.S. schools is almost four times now the amount of 2013. This shows you that we have to do something as a nation. We have to come together because these incidents are just getting more frequent and more lives, more families are being shattered. 
This loss, this rise, makes it clear that firmer measures have to be taken quickly to prevent further loss. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act was enacted just to use considerable funds for tools that can implement these solutions that will make our schools safer. Some teachers will actually be trained in how to properly keep a weapon in the classroom, keep it safe, have it for emergencies to protect their students. Another important resource is our fight against gun violence. We have to provide schools with screened, trained security. They can keep our children safe and they know how to do this. They know the warning signs to watch for and how to react properly. In conclusion, there are proven ways that gun control can prevent future mass shootings. They are not all in use, but they are excellent ideas to prevent and pr protect future generations and prevent, hopefully, not one more mass shooting in our beautiful country. The laws have to be passed that limit who can purchase the firearms, number one. The schools must be properly funded, and they have to be equipped with the right security that is knowledgeable and trained for gun safety. Thank you for listening.